so uh, this is our 2017 end of the trip video it's March it's March 26 2017 and uh, this year was an interesting year we had probably the best weather we've ever had we only got rained out one day yesterday um, in general uh, it's been a strange weather year back home we have had a drought for many years and this year we broke from the drought we got a lot of rain here um, it's been an unseasonably uh, warm year so phenologically it looks as if the plants are maybe three or four weeks uh, further along in the growing season than they typically are when we come here that's manifest in a bunch of ways one um, many more species are leafed out or more fully leafed out than we've had in past years so it's much easier to identify stuff or distinguish stuff than in past years one two there's a lot of stuff in bloom so we're seeing a lot more flowers and a lot more pollination action also a lot more stuff that's kicking up people's allergies and stuff even folks who don't have allergies people are sneezing um, similarly we're seeing a, a, a greater diversity of larger insects than we than we typically see um, the trails are much more vegetated um, again it's it's several more weeks of growth that we've seen um, the trail has been relatively dry this year so that's been uh, quite helpful um, uh, yeah that's my quick initial sort of qualitative take but yeah, what do you guys think uh, yeah, I agree. Um, there's also been a lot of planting that's happened along the mm. trails that the Conservancy has been doing in association with several school, school groups who, who grow, the, grow the trees and then they come out here and, and plant them. And so a lot, uh, several of our, um, the edge, edge plots of our permanent plots have now been planted with uh, various <laughs> species of Encroached. trees. Encroached! <laughs> um, Overall, the forest is in still in an early successional state, I think. We're still losing some big trees. There was some large trees that look like they've come down relatively recently. So we haven't ended that loss of large trees. Um, with the, under, the sort of mid-story is, is still a mixture of sort of early successional native things as well as non-native things like the tallow. Um, and uh, we were just in a spot further back by the ammunition dumps that had a, a fair amount of camphor tree, which is another introduced species. We've uh, found uh, a few um, tree species we haven't found, we haven't seen before or found before. Uh, one is Ulmus uh, parvifolia. It's the, it looks like it escaped from cu cultivation um, over here in, near the pavilion. And in the uh, eastern part of the reserve we found uh, possibly at least one but possibly two uh, species of magnolia that we haven't seen before. Um, the red maple has been kind of plagued by some mm some uh, pathogen or insect that has been destroying the apical leaves. Wilted, looks like they're wilted and stuff. Wilted, yeah. Uh, the mulberry has been really in fruit this year. Lots of mulberry fruit that everyone's been eating, uh, including the animals. We found some dung that has filled with mulberry fruits. Um, and there's a lot of this Siberian mint. <laughs> Lots seems to be purple flowers. Yeah, seems to be spreading on the reserve, and we found uh, the bra brassica is spreading too. Uh, yeah, a few uh, of an, an invasive mustard. We found a few spe a few individuals, and it looks like it might be spreading. Uh, I'd say in terms of animals, it's been interesting. We've had a good bird diversity. A lot of here, a lot of bird calls, a lot of diverse bird calls, and I think a bit more abundant than we typically have. A lot of frog calls, etc. Um, but haven't seen as many. <clears throat> terrestrial animals and and that's both in in our walking around I mean, we do see the armadillos and stuff but but not as many as we as we've seen in past years um, same goes for snakes and stuff we've seen some snakes but not the density we've seen in the past but also in terms of our roadkill surveys uh, relatively speaking lighter lighter mortality events which which seems to jive with what we're qualitatively seeing here we did not put out camera traps this year as we have in in many years past because we've had some problems with theft of them, um, so we can't quantify that, but qualitatively it seems like the terrestrial guys are um, a little bit uh, less abundant. Maybe that has to do with the phenology of the plants. Maybe they're they're you know sitting more in place and doing less roving or something. 
but it does seem to be a, a fairly uh, a clear pattern. Birds though are are rocking and rolling. Um, any other any other qualitative well, ecological there, things? There's one of the interesting things is um, so it seems to be phenologically advancing. Some of the ashes still have not leafed out yet. Yes, right. Which, which might be species specific. Mm. We're thinking. So. Yeah. Cool. So that's uh, that's our update. And that things are things are. Oh, one one last one. It's interesting. Is John mentioned? We've seen a lot of sort of bigger tree mortality, or continuing to see that, which is true. But interestingly, some particularly of our cypress trees, some of the big big guys that have fallen, and we saw you know we're at 45 degrees, say four years ago, five years ago, that I was convinced the next year they'd be on the ground, or the next year we saw them, they'd be on the ground. They've been surprisingly okay. And so we have a lot of um, cypress that's still viable, still living, still setting seed, um, but they're not, they're not you know, straight up and down. They're, they're 10 degrees, 20 degrees, and in some cases quite far down or even fully on the ground, um, but yet are still, vi the roots are still apparently attached and they're still setting leaves and still setting seeds. So, so that's good for the forest and that we're still having productivity, re potential reproductive activity from these cypress, even though they are, uh, many of them wounded and, uh, and under duress. So. Forests move on a different time scale than <laughs> us peripatetic humans. Yes. So that's, uh, they're dead men walking, but maybe a hundred years from now. <laughs> yes, but they're still walking, so that's positive. So uh, yeah, another year at Woodlands. And another year of work with, from our students and another year of contributing to the conservation and management of this section of bottomland hardwood forest south of New Orleans.